Hello everyone, welcome to Good Sign Designs. So today I'm really, really excited, but I'm also a little bit nervous because it's the first time that I will try to make a cardigan from a pattern. And I chose the loose pattern from Fiber Mood. So don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and share this video on your social media to support my channel. Let's get started. You can find the link for the design in the description below. To start, I folded my fabric in half, which is 140 cm in length. I placed the stencils onto the fabric, making sure that the back piece is placed with the flat edge along the fold of the fabric. You can do this for the belt too, to reduce fabric waste, but it's not compulsory. Once all of the templates were well placed on the fabric, I pinned them ready to cut. You need to fold the fabric in half so that you can have multiple pieces of fabrics for the left and right side of the cardigan. For example, we need two front A pieces, two front B pieces, one back piece along the fold, two sleeve pieces and one belt piece. The templates also show where to perform one notch, two notches and V cuts in the fabric to help line up the pieces together and to help shape the cardigan. Place the front A1 fabric face up with the front B2 fabric on top face down. Line up the bottom of the fabrics together, pin and sew. Make sure to leave about 1 cm for the seam allowance, which is marked on the template, but we won't have the template on the fabric when we sew. Then, serge along the edge to stop the fabric from fraying. If, like me, you don't have a sewing machine, then you can use the zigzag stitch on your sewing machine instead. Then, I iron the seam facing down towards the bottom of the cardigan. Serge or Sew the zigzag stitch along the inside part of the cardigan. Next, follow the same process for the other side with the front A2 and front B1 fabrics. Now, place the two front pieces together with the outside of the fabrics facing each other like this. We will pin and sew along here and then serge or zigzag stitch along the edge. I'm hoping what I said could make you change your mind. Though it doesn't really matter when my hands are tied. Again, like with the front pieces, I iron the seam to the side to flatten it, but make sure you iron it only in one direction and not both. Place the back piece down with the outside fabric facing up and place the front piece on top. Line one shoulder first and pin. At the end of the shoulder, the V-cuts from both fabrics should match up, so pin on both sides. 
Then continue pinning around the edges, again making sure that the V-cuts match on the other shoulder. Stitch the shoulder seam of the front and back. Stitch exactly to the seam allowance shape until the V-cut in the fabrics. Leave the needle in the fabric at this point. Raise the presser foot. Cut in the seam allowance of the front to the seam. Turn the work and lower the presser foot. Stitch to the next cut. Leave the needle in the fabric again. Raise the presser foot. Cut only in the seam allowance of the front up to the needle. Turn the work and lower the presser foot. So. Okay, this is what we did so far. And I will show you what we just did. It's the back part here. So this is the shoulders. And here. So now what we need to do is here, this is the shoulders bit. No? We're going to zigzag stitch on both sides. Here and here. Fold the face enough to overlap the neckline of the front and to the edge of the back piece. Pin and sew. And then what? You guessed it! Zigzag stitch! You and me stuck on the ocean now Nothing but waves in this villain in I wanna dry up but you Just keep on going, don't you? Now, to move onto the sleeves. All my reasoning have disappeared. Pin and stitch the upper edge of the sleeve on the armhole. The markings must match. The single notch indicates the front. The double notch, the back. The top notch corresponds to the shoulder seam. I will not let us fade away. It's not a price I want to pay. And it's not too late. Zigzag stage the unfinished edges together. So we just assembled the sleeves, this part here. So now what we're going to do is sew the bottom part of the sleeves like this and then the sides. Easy peasy! Fade away. It's not a price I want to pay, and it's not too late. No, we lost our purpose. Chasing all that surplus. You were all that I need. I feel that we can break free. We can still go back there to a place with no cares. We can turn this ship around. We can turn this ship around all the way back home.
I then did a zigzag stitch along the edges of the sleeves. Folded the hem over and sewed to keep it in place. I nearly finished my cardigan as you can see so I didn't follow the instructions for the end part because I wanted to do something a little bit different so as you can see in this part I did invisible stitches to have a nice clean finish and at the end I did a sewing like this with my sewing machine I just need to iron it and then also uh, make the belt but I won't show you how to make the belt but you can see this technique on most of my tutorials so let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you next week for more DIY! <laughs>